So today's survival episode has already taken me over a week of work and yeah, I still haven't pressed that recall button. You haven't missed much. I mean, really, all I've been doing is a little digging, a little bit more digging maybe. Okay, maybe a little bit more digging than just a little bit. Okay, okay, you got me, you got me. Okay, guys, I've done a lot of digging. A whole lot of digging, in fact. In fact, more digging than I think I've ever done in Minecraft at all. So it all started in the barn with this little farm here where we used to grow our potatoes. And I decided I wanted to double layer it and I ended up creating a wheat and beetroot layer here. So we can now grow two crops in this farm rather than just the one. And it's all automated so we don't have to do nothing. It will just all gather itself and put it into what will later be our storage system. I got so carried away with this that I went ahead and done it over here. Just ignore these chests. We'll explain those in just a moment. So this side here, we have potatoes and carrots. So that's potatoes, carrots, beetroot, and wheat. So we've got all four crops growing here now. Then I decided to start doing a bit of the wiring for the redstone that was going to connect to our storage system, which originally was going to be here and over here. But I decided that weren't enough because we're going to have a few farms here and I want to have some automatic storage for other items I'm going to use. So I started digging out a bit of an area that would later on be used for our storage system. And uh, I got a little carried away. So, all right, all right. I got, I got a lot carried away. But it's all going to be worth it in the long run. I mean, this is going to give us a ton of room for storage and for more farms. Now, originally, I only wanted to have a few basic farms in here. But I've decided that this area is going to be turned into an all-in-one farming area where we're going to have multiple farms all set up to rig into our storage system. And I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Not to mention, we also have a slime trunk here. So that kind of encouraged me to do some more digging. So down here, we've got a double slime chunk. We've got two slime chunks here and then a three block border. So we should have enough room to kind of set up some iron golems or something in the wall so that the slimes will jump down and then we'll have some kind of killing chamber at the bottom here then we're gonna have some kind of funnel that's gonna filter off to a sort of water elevator take the items all the way back up and then that'll go straight into our storage system so the storage system is going to be fully automated and it's going to be done on the two floors the upper level is going to consist mostly of our farm storage so it's going to be all of the bulk storage and then underneath is going to be for our general storage. So our general storage is only going to be filtered into like two double chests, whereas the bulk storage is probably going to be filtered into about five double chests. That'll give us more room for the automatic farm. Seems these items are going to be gaining a lot more than what our general items are. So my goal here is to try and learn a little bit to clean up my redstone, make things look very clean, very sort of tidy and get things filtered in properly. Now, with that being said, there is a ton of work I've got to do here first, guys. But let's start by getting the iron farm in place. So first thing we need is five beds. And I'm going to go ahead and just give them a red one just to make them extra special. So here's the area that I have dug out. So first of all, if we crouch and come in here, you can see we've got a water source with some soul sand and some bubbles coming up. That's where the zombie is going to go. But he won't be able to get through because he's going to be too big to fit in the gap. We're going to have villagers in these sections at this end. So let's go ahead and place three beds like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in slabs here. And the villagers again ain't going to be able to get through either. We're going to have that on both sides. Come on, John. I told you there's a lovely red bed just around the corner for you. Go and test it out. Oh, I think he's found his way. He's found his way. And straight into his bed. So let's go ahead and block him off just for the moment. Okay, let's take villager number two. Do we have any volunteers? Yes. Okay, we finally got three villagers in there. And I've got to say, that took me way longer than I expected. We've also got some fence gates in here and some fence gates down there. This is just going to be to stop the water that we're going to put in in just a little bit. But first of all, let's get our other three villagers in. Okay, we've got another villager in here. There's Robbie's trade off him now. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, this should convince our friend to come around. Yes, it does. We'll close you in. Oh, even better. You put yourself in there. One, two, three. One, two, three. We finally got him. Okay. 
And look at that, we've already got an iron golem, even though we don't have a zombie as of yet. So you can stay down there, my friend. And what we do is we're going to place a few of these, just like so. For the collection system, we're going to keep it pretty simple. So we're going to just basically run some poppers all the way across here. And we're going to go one, two, one, two, one, two. Because there's a three by three gap here where the iron golem can fall through. We'll add some gates. We'll open them. Add some more. And then one more row. Just like so. So the collection system here is pretty simple. We're just going to go and jump and place a lava bucket there. And if we're very quick, we can place one there. Uh, hopefully without burning ourselves too much. Now that we're not burning, let's just quickly go ahead, put some stone around this little edge here. Something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and just block all of this off with our gloss. This is only going to be temporary. We will make this look much nicer a little bit later on. And then all I want to do is actually put in the uh, the little system here that's going to shoot out all of the items into the water stream once we get that all set up. So let's just clear a little area. So this little system here is very simple. We're just basically going to put in our dispenser here. We're going to put in a comparator there. We'll have a repeater just here. And then we should be able to literally just place a block here. And we place a block on top of that one. One here. We're going to put redstone here and here. And then a full block just here. And then if we jump up here, we can put our redstone there. And that should power everything we need it to. Let's just go ahead and put another torch there. Yeah, and that should be good. So now I'm going to just fill this section in so we can hide that. And the final piece of the puzzle is going to be getting a zombie, which is going to be a little bit more tricky than I think. So we've got a trapdoor over here, which we want to get him to. Okay, don't look like the zombies want to come out to play today. You can do one, my friend. Bye bye. Okay, we've got a zombie. Hey, there we go. Now we can add our dirt, we'll turn that into a grass path, and then we should better go bang, bang, bang. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is actually get rid of this iron golem here, because he is probably going to attack the zombie as soon as he sees him once we open it up. Okay, that's the iron golem gone. Now our zombie friend there, as you can see, he does actually have an item in his hand, so he shouldn't despawn, but just in case, I'm going to go ahead and do that and there we go we've already got another iron golem which is perfect so let's start from this side we'll go one water there one there grab one from the center and there we go working perfectly bye bye mr iron golem excellent as we can see our collection system has already spat out some goods so let's pick those up and what do we get we've got 18 iron and five poppies which is perfect so this is just going to keep spitting that out what we will be doing is getting ourselves a bucket of water. And basically, we'll be placing that one there. That will push it all the way down to about here. And then what we'll be doing is placing some of the packed ice. So we'll break one, two, three. Place a slab here. And then we'll place another water bucket. And that should push it all the way across further on. But for now, I'm going to leave it just there. As you can see, it slides straight under there. So it'll go straight into the second stream. And that'll be perfect. Okay, we've got our chest in place. Let's just check this works and perfect timing. We've got an iron golem in here. So once he gets killed by the lava, we should get our items get spat out of the side. There they go. All the way down and filled into the chest, which we should have a few in here now. 18 and 4. Perfect. With our water elevator all in place now, this is going to make it so much easier to transport our items all the way up from any of our farms. So the next job is probably going to be the most tedious, and that is going to be getting in the storage system. So I think first of all, we're going to go ahead, get all of the framework in place, organize all of our sections, get in our chests, and then finally getting in all of the redstone. Once the redstone is in place, we can start working on all of the piping, which is going to be a pretty huge job. So I think we're going to go ahead and roll this one in a time lapse. So with that being said, let's get building.
Okay, my tools are all repaired, but I need to get myself a new bow. So let's see what we can get here. Power three, power two, power one. Power three on its own. I'm breaking free. Let's give it a go. I'm breaking free and flame. Power four, I'm breaking free and flame. Let's try again, see if we can get anything better. Power four. Ah, we got infinity that time. So power four, infinity and flame. We should be able to do that. If we just try one more and see if we can get anything better, I'm not really sure if it will. Okay. No, but we can combine a few of these to make a decent bow. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I managed to combine a few of the bows, and we've now got Flame, Infinity, Power 5, and Unbreaking 3. So I think that's going to be pretty awesome for now. Okay, the storage is looking pretty good. Now, this is actually done on the two floors. So down here, this is actually going to be mostly general storage, which we're going to have two double chests for. As you can see, all this area here is all for the general storage. The same on the opposite side over here. We've got the two sec uh, three sections here, all for general storage. On the bottom level here, we've got one area for the bulk storage where we've got five double chests. But on the level upstairs, we actually have three sections. So this one, this one, and this one are all set up for bulk storage, which are going to be for our farms. Now, I still have to do all the redstone behind it, so that's going to be a huge job. But I've still got a bit more materials to gather up before I can get started on that. But overall, I've got to say it's looking pretty good. We still got to get the sign done with the ceiling, so I'm thinking maybe we'll put in some beams, add some draping leaves down, and just add a bit of greenery, maybe a bit of carpet or something down there, just to add a bit more detail, and I think that will probably do it. Okay, I just realized I'm getting a little low on meat, so uh, just a pre-warning, guys, you might want to close your eyes for a minute. Man, I'm so hungry. Uh, it is, it's vegan, I swear. I swear, guys, I promise you, it is vegan. Ooh, what do we have here? Let's see if anyone's home. Hello? Aha, secret entrance. Let's have a look down here. Villager and zombie. Okay, I think here, if I remember right, we can get an achievement. So we can actually do this. And I believe... Whoa, that's loud. I do apologize for the eardrums, guys. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should spend one episode and see if we can unlock every achievement in-game? I think that'd be a pretty fun challenge. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Well, dude, you've got the serious shakes. Hey, we did it. We unlocked it. Goal reach. Zombie doctor. I don't think I've ever actually unlocked that achievement before. I cannot remember doing this one before, but that's pretty cool. I'm glad we've done it. And now we can free our friends. Freedom. Run for it, guys. Okay, we're finally good for the redstone. So to start with, we're going to go ahead and place two hobbles like this in the back of all of our chests. We're then going to place three blocks coming out like this. One here to make a sort of T-shape and then one block here. We're going to have a repeater going towards the chest from here. Redstone torch underneath there. Then we're going to come up here, place a temporary block just here. And then from this side here, we're going to place a hopper facing into the block make sure it's facing into the block you can see that by looking at this bit here then we're going to place a comparator and then one two and three bits of redstone like this and basically we want to do that behind all of these chests 
Now, there is going to be a waterway that's going to run right above here. So we're going to have a glass block here and a glass block just in front above the, just basically above the comparator. Then for the ones up here, it's going to be very slightly different. So we're going to still place the hoppers going in like this. Then we're going to place one like so, and then one coming out like that. Okay, so it's a little bit higher. Okay. Then we're going to have to go one, two, three, one down here, then put another two like this. And if we can just move out the weight, we'll break that little one in the middle. This part up here is going to be exactly the same. So basically we're putting our repeater, our redstone torch, temporary block, hopper, break the temporary block, comparator, redstone, redstone, redstone. With this in place, we're going to go ahead and just put some markings for where our walkway is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place a glass block right there. That means there's going to be water in between here and this hopper. On the top one, we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to place glass block there. And then we're going to go ahead, place another one just here. And we'll get rid of that one just there. And then we're going to just click on that and take that glass block out like so. And then all you want to do is basically extend this just all the way across. So basically ooh, cross behind every chest. Now I've just gone ahead and closed it off at the edges here. So just so that we've got our little edge for the waterways where they're going to come out and just connected the sides here just to kind of protect all of the redstone so that if water was to fall down from somewhere, it doesn't push any of these comparators or the redstone torches out of place. And I went ahead and done the same over on this side as well. Now, I guess the hard part is going to be repeating this around the entire build, which is going to be pretty tough. But uh, it's going to take a while, but uh, I guess we'll do this in a time lapse. So without any further ado, let's do this.
Okay, I'm not going to lie. I am so glad that this is all done. My gosh, this has been the most work I've done in a survival episode yet, I think. Um, I've been working on this for just over a week, gathering materials, building. This redstone here alone has taken me so long to gather all the materials, put it all together. Do all of the building for this, do all the digging for all this area here, digging out the slime farm. It's been quite a lot of work for one episode, really. And it's not necessarily been the most entertaining of episodes because most of it has been work called sort of related. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Now, I think next episode, we've definitely got to go ahead and head away from the base because, oh, look at this. This is just looking so nice. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's getting there. Next episode, I think we're definitely going to head away from the base and maybe go and take on the Ender Dragon because the Ender Dragon, I've been saying for the last three, four episodes, I think, that I'm going to take on the Ender Dragon and then we get stuck into doing something else. So it's about time we take her on and I want to get my wings. I want to get some shulker shells and stuff like that. So there's a lot of things I want to do. Maybe we'll have a good old explore of the end. Now, this episode has taken a bunch of work, guys. So if you did enjoy it, please remember to leave a like and don't forget to leave me some feedback in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the episode or what you enjoyed, what you'd like to see more of, because I will be highlighting some comments in next video, just like I'm going to start doing in all my videos. So be sure to leave a comment if you want a chance of getting highlighted. Now, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.